Lucinda, you and I are kindred. If you leave rose quartz close to noodle, it will charge. Oh, gonna scooch you. But because I love the idea. Hello! Thank you so much for watching this week's episode of Tools of the Trade. My name is Jonathan, this is Noodle, and Noodle has been a very sleepy prince all day today. But we are so excited for this one uh, because we uh, were able to access another one of our icons and we have worked with her for a very long time. Um, this box was curated by Lucinda Hinojos of La Morena Art in Phoenix, Arizona. She was born and raised she is a single mother of three, and she is a community activist and artivist. So what that means is she paints these absolutely spectacular murals, these big, big, beautiful murals that she uses to help spread messages of love and acceptance. And she does a lot of work around immigration policy and a lot of work helping domestic violence victims. And she really is one of those people who has just dedicated her life and her craft to helping to make the community a better place. And if you are ever around the Phoenix area and you see a beautiful, stunning mural that takes your breath away, there's a very large chance that she was a part of it. All right, so let's dive right into this box. Oh. <laughs> um, okay, so the first item we've got, which I'm gonna pull out because I love it, is it's a speaker. It's a water-resistant speaker. It's a Bluetooth speaker. Okay, brilliant. So this is a water-resistant Bluetooth speaker. And I can imagine that this is completely necessary um, for Lucinda when she's working, right? She's in a big studio space. She's got a big canvas ahead of her and she's got her tunes blaring and she's got kids with her. Um, I can imagine that this is something she uses to help kind of build the atmosphere wherever she's working. It helps to get her in the zone when she's creating. Um, I can also imagine this is just something nice to have around the house. All right, the next item we have in this box is it says 2020 in this. Is this a planner? I don't want to open this because it's so beautiful, but is this a planner? This is a beautiful day planner for the new year, right? 2020. And I think this is an incredible addition of this box. Obviously, if you are an entrepreneur, you have to stay organized. You have to keep appointment dates. You have to know when products deploy, when, you know, the holidays are coming around. Like there's a number of reasons why you might need this. And it also is nice because it's, it's a paper calendar, right? This is not like a digital, my phone's constantly alerting me about what things are going on. And I know a lot of people find value in keeping this separate from their technology, right? Keeping their schedule and their notepad and things separate from their phone and everything else going on. So this is probably an incredible way that she stays organized. Um, and I love it. Okay, the next item we have in the box is, oh, oh, this is nice. This is a rose quartz healing wand. And this will go right back in the packaging, I promise, when you get this. But I'm going to use this to sort of cleanse noodle quickly. This is a rose quartz healing wand. So you have to charge these. You leave them out in the moonlight and they charge. I can imagine that Lucinda is someone who likes to make sure that the space she's in and whenever she's working, the energies are right where they need to be. Noodle, however. Noodle. Noodle. Come here. What do you think? What do you think of the rose quartz energies? He wasn't moved. Noodle was not, hold on, let me scooch back a little bit. Were you moved by these energies? No, Noodle was not moved by these energies. However, if you leave rose quartz close to Noodle, it will charge. So we're gonna do that. Oh wait, you guys, hold on. There's more crystals in here, hold on. Oh yeah, oh yeah, she's, she's packing, she's packing. But we've got a couple of crystals here. And what more than anything, what I can take away from this is that uh, Lucinda is uh, very keen on making sure that she's not only protecting herself and her own personal energies, but the energies around her, right? And in her studio space and everything. So I get really excited when I see stuff like this, not only because I love crystals, but because I love the idea. Did anyone else think that those were a direct result of the exposure to the positive energies of the crystals? Is this a, a noodle? Are you, oh God, did you see that? God, he just snotted. I think he's being exercised. I think he's slowly but surely being exercised with these crystals. And I, yeah, look at him. He can't even face them. The energies are too strong for him. Oh my God, noodle, you've met your match. Lucinda, look what you've done. Okay, the next thing we've got in here, and this is great, is we've got a smudge kit. You've got a bunch of sage in here. 
you've got white sage sort of across the board. You got three pieces of it. So this is another, another item that you would use in a space that you want to cleanse, right? Like for example, when I moved into my new apartment, it's one of the traditions is you have to sage a space. You sage a space to get rid of bad energy and you sage a space to make room for more energy. So if you move into an old apartment and you don't know the history of it or you just want to get a nice strong start, now yeah, I bet that smells, man. That white sage is potent. This is a really, uh, this is a common practice that a lot of people do and I can imagine that Lucinda, anytime she, you know, she walks into a new art space or maybe she, you know, she invites people into her studio, whatever that might be, she takes some time to sage it first to make sure that the experience that everyone's having is balanced. Between this and the crystals, you are gonna be feeling fine. Okay, the next item we've got in this is, so this is a pencil for your iPad. So, if any of you have an iPad out there and you just get sick of the touch screen, this is something you can use to sort of add like a stylus element to it. And I can imagine that Lucinda uses this to design. I bet she's got some kind of art app on it, some kind of design app on it, that she's able to use this to draw some of her ideas out. Now, I, obviously, when she translated to Canvas, that comes out entirely differently simply because she has to use, you know, her professional tools of the medium. But when she's designing or just sketching or daydreaming, how great to have something like this where you can just make a mistake, you can change it up, and you can just do everything freehand. If you don't have an iPad and you win this box, what a great incentive to get one. And if you do have an iPad and you win this box, you have a whole new world coming your way. Okay, the next item we've got. Oh my god, I have to open this. Sorry guys, I gotta do it. I'll keep the box safe, but I love essential oils. Lucinda, you and I are kindred. So this is a case of essential oils. And look, just look at how much is in here. <gasps> Oh, Noodle, he wants the essential oils. Essential oils are actually not great for dogs to inhale directly. So you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna scoot you. And you've got this nice little bag and inside of it, I think they're inside already, is you have what looks like, yeah. Oh my God, you've got all these little individual cases of essential oils. This is fabulous. Um, but this is another like a self-care kit, right? This is some really, really wonderful stuff in here. High quality ingredients. And I love this package it comes in. Um, she loves this brand. And this is something that I can imagine that anyone, anyone who is big on essential oils or is curious about them would be very lucky to get something like this. Nuda, we're gonna keep you far away from this, okay? Okay, sweet prince. The last item in here, which is something that I am so thrilled to see, is pepper spray. This is a single mother of three working in a major city. It's very important to make sure that you not only protect yourself and your space, right? Your energies with crystals and sage and your essential oils, but you can also pack a little punch if you gotta. Also, one of the things that Lucinda does is she goes to sort of remote areas of the city and that's where she'll do her work. So a lot of times she will be out there alone, right, early in the morning doing some of this work, right, creating some of these pieces. If you are a business owner or you're an artist and you have to go out and you do things and, or even if you're a, you know, you're a film producer, someone who goes out and has to work on location early in the morning or late at night and you don't, you know, you're meeting new people for the first time, you don't know your company, I can imagine that this, whether or not you have to use it, bottom line gives you peace of mind. And in a perfect world, I can imagine that a woman out alone at night would not need pepper spray, but we do not live in a perfect world. And she is working to help make that world a better place. But in the meantime, she's gonna spritz you if you get too close. So I'm always inspired by these, just like I'm always excited to get the boxes. But I have to say, it's not very often that we get a box that is genuinely something that I would consider to be a delightful Christmas haul. Every single one of these items in here is something that not only I would use, but it's something that I do have in my apartment to an extent. Again, between the crystals and the sage, and I don't have pepper spray in my apartment, again, I think this speaks, speaks so much to not just who she is as a person, but who she is as a business owner and as a creator, right? As an artist, someone who is able to go out in the world and create and do it fearlessly and be able to live, you know, to live openly like that, I think is really something that a lot of people strive for. And I'm very pleased to know that she made it. Please head to our YouTube channel and make sure to like, subscribe, and ring the bell so that you can get notifications every time uh, a new tools video goes up or a notification anytime another one of our amazing series goes live on YouTube. That's it. Do you remember when Noodle got too close to the rose quartz and his body started to negate it because he's full of such negative energy? I couldn't believe that. That was, I mean, more than anything we know it works. So for Noodle, for myself, 
And honestly, for this big freaking thing of pepper spray, get out! No, oh my God, I'm kidding. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.